1945 before Jesus came BC before Jesus came so so they were training their children to worship God. The first way of worship was through giving. These days, we say, let's first lift up our hands and worship God in a song. The other time, worship was demonstrated through offerings. And I strongly believe it is going on. Worship and worshiping God to make him more than the other items you make him higher worshiping your money worshiping your life so kati you put God above every other thing the verse I want to talk about is verse 4 verse 4 in Luganda verse 4 in Luganda Anate kanga engaluze kumutwe gwechi webwa yo echokebwa awe na mukirizibwanga okumutangirira anate kanga omukono gwe then he shall put his hand he shall lay his hand upon on the head of the burnt offering komutwe gwechi webwa yo echokebwa and it will be accepted chikirizibwe in the morning service i was talking about acceptance mu service yo kumachamba njogera kukirizibwa when you take an offering to the Lord, there is also that provision of acceptability. So now the Bible says he shall put his hand. That one makes you to involve, to make yourself involved in that activity of giving. Don't send people there. Don't say, Pastor, come and receive an offering from my house. You bring it and you present it before the Lord. You people that have ever been to shrines, at times there, there are things that you speak over your sacrifice, over the thing that you take to the shrine. You say, I want riches. So they had borrowed that system from God. You would put your hand on the offering. And then the atones for you. He speaks for you words. That you cannot speak with your no, mere words. That was the first worship. The Israelites knew that. So today, we are going to get hold of the offering with your hand. With your hand. And come and appear personally, individually, visibly. Showing the testimony. Anybody who would commit a crime. Or they were accused of something. The one who saw yeah, them was the one to lay a hand on him as a testimony. As a witness. testimony. So as you give the offering, it's like you're testifying. You're testifying. So we are on this point that he shall put his hand on the offering. That is very important. So that God fills you. It fills your presence. Because it is that very hand that looks for the money. Now it is the very hand that you put on. This is my present. I am holding it personally, individually, visibly. Try to go we're buying some plots in Buwembe. The man is calling Nyongesa. He said, Pastor, come. Get hold of this landmark. And, and, also, and I'm going to declare that I've given you the land. That's what we do. I thought, I said, no. I said, I take hold of my hand. Saying, I've given you this land willingly. Nobody has forced me. So he surrendered the land. Now we are So when you put your hand on the offering, you are declaring before God, I was not coerced. I was not forced. Willingly I have decided. It is free will. I have decided. 
and said, My hand is a testifier. So a witness. You are coming here. You are going to sow it openly before the people and before God. Now, when you declare it, even the devils know. Oh, that offering was taken out from him. It was taken to God. Now God becomes you as personally. God takes the responsibility. And then my God shall supply all your needs. According to his riches in glory. By Christ Jesus. He shall put his hand as a testimony that is not forced on the head of the burnt offering and it will be accepted the moment God accepts the offering what is going to follow is the blessing that comes from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ Father in the name of Jesus we are bringing our offerings to you Lord we are declaring it by putting our hands upon it we are carrying our money, Lord, as a testimony that it is you that has blessed us. Through it all, you have been there. And Father, receive it and accept it. And bless us. And open the doors, Lord, And rebuke the devourer for our sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say amen. Get on of your offering. Hurry up, bring it. In the house of the Lord, and the Lord will bless you.